Morning. 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 Okay, perfect. It is having a particular structure. That uh, basic nucleus is known as cyclo antimo and hydro phenylalanine nucleus. So that one is known as steroid. If the drug is forming that basic nucleus, cyclo antimo and hydro phenylalanine nucleus. If the drugs are not having that steroid nucleus, they are called as non steroidal. So, you know about the anti inflammatory agent, the drugs which are used for the treatment of inflammation, they are known as anti inflammatory agents. So, if they are not uh, having a uh, steroid nucleus, then they are called as non steroid anti inflammatory drugs. Let us see about the non steroid anti inflammatory agents. So, uh, in charge, they are known as NSAIDs, they are the drugs with the activity of analgesic antipyretic properties. So, they in higher doses they are used as anti-inflammatory agents and they reduce the inflammation. So, this uh, non-steroidal distinguishes uh, uh, NSAIDs from steroidal and inflammatory drugs. That is steroidal drugs mean corticosteroid. You might have heard of that term. Corticosteroid, mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids. So, they are different from that corticosteroid. Uh, that is I mean of the structure. Okay, so they are not complete with the class. They are uh, they are not producing any uh, sleep They are not not complete. Uh, specific uses include the treatment of endings, arthritis, uh, and sports injuries. And the most received side effect of this uh, non-steroidal inflammatory agents are uh, kidney failure, liver failure, ulcers, and prolonged mobility after an injury or accident. Let us see the biosecurity pathway of this prostaglandin. Why we are uh, going for this uh, prostaglandin? Uh, the main mechanism we will see in the next slide that is in the by the all these as you put it in the agents are by inhibiting the biosynthesis of prostate. Land. So, before going to that uh, prostaglandin, we have to know that biosynthetic parts regarding this prostaglandin. Here, uh, the cell wall phospholipids are there. So, the corticosteroids inhibit the enzyme phospholipids. Here, the arachidonic acid that will be converted into hydroxy acid, arachidonic acid. This will be translated uh, by the enzyme lipoxygenase. So, arachidonic acid, after reaching the site of the arachidonic acid, it will be enhanced by the two enzymes. One is the COX one of the one enzyme and COX two enzyme. So, COX means cyclooxygenase enzyme and cyclooxygenase. That will uh, enter into the, the cyclic endoperoxide, then it will uh, enhance the prostate landing that will produce inflammation, fever, and so, this uh, prostaglandin that will produce the uh, protection of gastric mucosa and maintenance of the uh, kidney function. That is the uh, protection of the cyclooxygenase in the cyclooxygenase in food. That is COX2, it uh, may produce the inflammation, fever, and pain. So, the drugs which inhibit this prostaglandin synthesis are useful uh, as an anti inflammatory agent. This is the classification of uh, anti non steroidal anti inflammatory agents. That is known as ALD. Uh, the first classification. Let us see the classification of endless ALDs. The first one is petro arrhythmic acetic amla. Example will be indo metallic, tolmetic sodium. And mild acetic acid amla, sulfuric acid, and we will use that. Then, allyl acid analogs, next one will be glucotifer and ketoprofen. Then, next one will be pyta signal, relax signal. Then, selective COX2 inhibitors. These drugs will be for the cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme. So, they are selective COX2 inhibitors. Next one will be 
Semi-toxic, rotitoxic, and golden molecules. Our wind and our rose metal, the close of the tannin, are also examples for the gold compounds. The salicylic acid are also examples for the acid and the salicylate. Then pyrazole and pyrazole dipole, examples for the phenazole and dipyrazole. This is the stage of such a molecular weakness, and we don't just show it as an agent, but also use it. Energy. The example would be chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, and some other agents. And the agents would be chlorophyll and halophyll. Let us see one of the. This is the famous one that is used as the energy agent. This is the hydroxychloroquine group. Okay, so we can take the group group one that is isobutyl propyl and phenyl group will be present in that group. Okay, so you will see here C H two, C H three, C H three. This is the isobutyl and C H two, C H two, C O O H is the propionic acid. The one hydrogen is replaced by the phenyl group. Hence the structure is known as phenyl group. Okay, so this is the in this one. This is the next one is more active. Sorry, yes, isobutyl is more active than R isomer. So, in group one, it's produced uh, by the cell. Let us see the synthesis of this in group one. This is the isobutyl benzene. That is, this is isobutyl C H two C H three H three in presence of aluminium chloride and acetic chloride. This is the four isobutyl acetophenol. Here, C O C H three is one hydrogen. We take the chlorine that will be eliminated as hydrogen chloride. So it will give the four isobutyl acetophenol. This is followed by isohydrogen cyanide. What will happen here? H will be added here. So C H three O H uh, C H C H three O H C H will be added here. So it will give the cyanohydrogen derivative of this acetophenol. Four isobutyl acetophenol. This is followed by reduction will give the isobutyl. That is. C H C H three C O O H will be the product will be formed by treatment with the hydrogen ionide and phosphorus in presence of water. <coughs> Next one is mechanism of action. As we have already discussed about this one, that NSAID is and we need to do the biosynthesis of prostaglandin. So what is this prostaglandin? This is a naturally occurring protein carbon cyclopentano fatty acid derivative. That is derived from the arachidonic acid. So, as the name suggests, it is used for the treatment of inflammation. So, it possesses antibiotic as well as analgesic properties, and it is used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. And I hope I have given an answer for your question. Thank you.